Hi there and thanks for clicking on this video. Um, we're just going to go through just quickly how to enable and disable the VLANs on a Real Presence Trio. Uh, the reason that you might want to do this, um, generally if you imagine that you are taking a Real Presence Trio uh, 8800 uh, or in fact any of the, 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 the Polycom phones uh, into a customer environment or into a lab environment, especially if that has already been set up with a voice uh, LAN uh, which normally, you know, a uh, voice VLAN, which is normally set up if someone, for, say, for instance, has another phone system. Um, that phone system might not, uh, uh, that uh, VLAN may not actually be configured to do the things that are required in order to get out to onto the internet. For instance, if you wanted to do things like register to Office 365, uh, or if you want to be able to register to Skype for Business, which is currently sitting on the same network as your PCs. So yeah, so there's quite often a case where you may need to disable the VLAN settings on the Trio in order to ensure that it doesn't interfere um, with your, uh, your system. And there is a quick way to be able to check if that's happening. So what we'll do at first is if we look at this unit here right now, and I press the menu button up at the top here, if I click that menu button, I can see my IP address. So this is the IP address that I'm currently being assigned based on the network that I'm currently sitting on. If I go into settings, then I go into advanced, four, five, six, and done. Then I go into my administration settings. I'm then going to go into network configuration, network interfaces, ethernet menu, because we're currently running over the wired connection. And then we're going to go down to the VLAN menu, which is down here. Click on the VLAN menu. And in here, what we're going to do is we're just going to turn off all the VLAN settings. So LLDP, CDP and then the VLAN discovery mode we'll hit to disabled and that should be enough to be able to do most of the things that we uh, we want it to be able to do um, there's no there's not much point in changing anything else unless of course you require it um, but what we'll do is we'll just go back here back again back again and the unit will ask to save so we hit save config and what the unit will do now is it reboots and it will attempt to get another IP address off another um, uh, VLAN if it is available. Um, because what it should do now is just default to the basic VLAN um, and not actually pick up you know, any, any VLAN identifications and tags that are, uh, that are out there. So this is a unit rebooting now and it will come back up. Uh, in my particular environment, I don't actually have any VLANs currently set up. Um, so the IP address that I will receive is the same, but by going in and looking at that bit at the top, if the IP address has changed, there is a good potential chance, uh, especially if it's a different subnet um, that comes up, that the unit has actually gone onto a different network um, and therefore might be the same one that, for instance, your PCs are sitting on. Uh, this is a common thing that tends to happen, uh, is that someone has that network set up for a phone system uh, and the Trio will register to the lockdown network that would normally register to the phone system, rather than registering to the network which the PCs are sitting on, which is the same one that would then go out to Skype for Business, Office 365, or all those kind of things. So this is a common gotcha, so to speak. And now what I can do, once the unit's back up and running, I would press the menu button again, and if this IP address has changed, there's a good chance, if it's in, as I said, if it's in a different subnet, it's gone on to another network. So now it's worth trying the sign in again and seeing if everything works um, and taking it from there. So I hope this video helped. If it did and it's uh, uh, and you liked it, then please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you very much and have a good day.